Honorable Speaker. We need to even bring in new medications and not the outdated ones that are existing in our EDL. We need to review our essential drug list that is used by Ministry of Health so that we can have new medication that are available in the market to treat these NCDs, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, we need to work together to combat NCDs in Fiji. And I urge we as the leaders, Honorable Speaker, that we take the lead role. One of the things that we need to change in this parliament is we need to move away from morning tea to healthy break. Now we are actually having two tea breaks, Honorable Speaker, and one lunch. We need to move away and we should. Yeah, we can have morning tea and fruits. Healthy, healthy break. As we do in other jurisdictions, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, I also urge, as leaders, we take a lead role and devote at least one hour during the parliament session to at least lead by example by having a touch rugby between the government and opposition <laughs> during the lunch break, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, this is not something to laugh about. If we laugh here, people won't take us seriously outside. And that is why this burden is on our healthcare system. We need to lead by examples. We cannot be sitting here idle and expecting the general populace to be looking after their health when we don't do anything. So, from September, Honorable Speaker, I urge the government and opposition MPs to let's have a friendly touch rugby game, at least for one hour per week. Vina Khan, Honorable Speaker. Mr. Speaker, reviewing legislation and reviewing health promotion is mainly part of the solution required. Health system evaluation is a complex undertaking and a detailed multi prog approach is required. The evaluation must not only involve health outcome, but also take into account professional viewpoint, our patient's experience, and the influence on the systemic social issues, the real issues affecting our people, uh, Honorable Speaker. Importantly, health promotion should not just be about circulating message of healthy practices, but should also address the social determinants of health, and this is where legislative intellectuals play a vital role in affirmative policy development. <clears throat> we must consider vital factors like uh, the income level of our people, the effects of uh, raising the VAT on ordinary Fijian, the level of education, employment status, and the acceptable minimum wage also with their housing condition and the access to a balanced nutritional diet, which is mostly expensive, Honorable Speaker. All of which influence our physical, mental, and also our spiritual health. To neglect these factors, Mr. Speaker, we would be failing to address the root cause of many health problems in our nation. Furthermore, the focus should not be only battling the disease, but also investing in preventive strategies. I strongly believe that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So let us put our answers in the right place. By encouraging uh, early screening, regular health check, promoting healthy lifestyle, uh, we can help prevent NCD and improve the health outcome of our citizens.